And we begin today with the wife of Ray Rice speaking out about her husband being terminated by the Baltimore Ravens after new video surfaced showing her being punched out in an elevator. Janae Rice posted on Instagram this morning, I woke up this morning feeling like I had a horrible nightmare, feeling like I'm mourning the death of my closest friend. No one knows the pain that media and unwanted options from the public has caused my family. To make us relive a moment in our lives that we regret every day is a horrible thing. Well, that video is drawing a huge response this afternoon and calls for change in the NFL. Eyewitness News reporter Emily Longnecker is at the Beacon of Hope Center for Women, where the director is now voicing her support for the NFL's latest move to suspend Ray Rice indefinitely. Well, Beacon of Hope Center for Women is on the front lines of helping women and children impacted by domestic violence. That's why they just couldn't sit back this summer when the Ray Rice story first broke and they learned at the time that he had only been suspended for two games. Their first step in speaking out was this letter to the NFL. Terry Moore, Beacon of Hope's executive director, wrote a letter to NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell telling him the two-game suspension was the wrong call and a slap on the wrist for a serious offense. Moore says she's relieved the latest video came to light and that the NFL and Baltimore Ravens levied more serious consequences. No woman needs to be treated like this. And to just see how he treated her and, you know, just dragged her right out of the elevator with no remorse, it just, it actually made me angry. Made me angry. And next month, October, is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and the folks here at Beacon of Hope say as disturbing as this story about Ray Rice is, they hope that it brings more awareness to the problem of domestic violence. Emily Longnecker, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.